Welcome back to Facets Television, and I'm Kevin McDonald, and today with me I have Kobe Travis and the real star of the show, Ruby, right here. And what we're going to talk about today is a product called Find Them Scent Safe, and it really is what it is. It's effectively a scent safe. Take a fresh scent from your child or loved one, and you put it in the freezer, and if you ever need to find them, these folks help you. So thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank and, you. Uh, so why don't you tell me a little bit about how this started and how it works, if you would. Um, sure. Uh, a few years ago, I uh, worked uh, bloodhounds, missing cases, missing persons, and Alzheimer's and such, and came up with the idea of having families be prepared just in case mm -hmm. if somebody goes missing because it helps the bloodhound have a scent item that's not contaminated. Mm -hmm. um, I have children. I kiss them goodnight. I lean over their pillows to do that. I do the laundry. So my scent is on everything. Okay. And we wanted something where when the dogs aren't finding people, why are they not finding them? And that's where it came up with not having a good scent on them because uh, to find that one person, which is what the dogs do, they scent discriminate and they track that one. Mm -hmm. We need to put everything in the dog's favor to find people faster. And then Travis is the one that made the product. Oh, really? Right on. Okay, so how, what, what, what was your inspiration for that? Uh, my partner, actually. Um, having the, uh, the overall knowledge and experience and working these um, manhunts and these uh, suspect chases and looking for missing children in law enforcement and then finding that there's a tool that we could possibly be on the, on the, uh, the edge of creating to help locate those people faster with more reliability. Mm -hmm. As Kobe had spoken uh, on... Uh, the contamination is a huge factor in our success um, in using these dogs. And they need clarity in what they're looking for, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Scent is like a fingerprint. They're not two alike, um, even with identical twins. So that if we can eliminate the contamination factor and we can apply that in a proactive tool, mm -hmm. such as the Find Em Scent Kit, to give this dog when that unforeseen event takes place, mm -hmm. it could be an amazing location, you know, locate and help bring some closure and a child or, or an adult home before it's too late. So how do the folks, how do they get in touch with this product? I mean, how does it work? Is it, are they, uh, are you part of a foundation or are you selling them retail? How does that work? So yes, we, um, we're, we're doing both. We uh, sell it online at www.findemsentkit.com. And we've, uh, Kobe and I have also started a nonprofit uh, organization called the Find Me Foundation. Okay. And that's our gateway of helping uh, families and organizations in need help get those kits for free. Well, that's terrific, and I understand it's endorsed by some really top-notch groups, the International Bloodhound Training Institute, the National Police Bloodhound Association, the Joyful Child Foundation, which is actually in memory of Samantha Runyon, um, that would be Aaron Runyon's daughter, and I understand actually there's some genetics in this dog and the one that looked for uh, poor Samantha when she was missing, is that true? That is. This is, uh, Ruby is related to Maggie, who worked the case with me. Wow, my dog's name is Maggie. That's really cool. Uh, Aaron has been on our program here before, and unfortunately, Aaron lost her daughter to um, a crazy, murderous person. But Aaron is, if she's supporting these folks, she's very careful about what she says and who she supports. She must be, uh, one, grateful, and two, I think, supportive of this product. Um, what kind of luck are you having in getting the community to, to reach out for these? That's our biggest thing is we're trying to educate the community because um, there are fingerprint kits out there, mm -hmm. DNA kits. I that used we, to give them out all the time. Yeah. We absolutely still say use those. Mm -hmm. But one more thing is um, the Find Them Scent Kit because the Find Them Scent Kit helps us locate. We don't want to identify. Right. We want to locate, right. and that's our, our goal. And so if families could help with that tool also, you keep this in your freezer at your home, and heaven forbid anything happen, you hand it to your law enforcement or your search and rescue team, and a dog can be deployed. The thing about it, too, is that when a child goes missing, and this is something that many of you know, I've been involved in the missing children's issue for a long time. If we don't find them quickly, we generally don't find them in a condition 
that we want, and we want to bring them back safe. And the faster we can do that, the better. And it looks to me like this is a really great way to do that. How can folks get in touch with you again? Can you remind me? Yes, it's um, you can buy us online at uh, www.findemsentkit.com, um, and uh, we're uh, available for any contact. Um, you can also reach out to us on the contact button uh, on the website as well. Now, are you guys looking for support partnerships, agency groups, things like that? Are you looking to be working with other nonprofits? Have you reached out? Absolutely. More that we can help others and, and vice versa. I, as long as it's helping the community, mm -hmm. that's our goal and saving lives. That's our goal, and we're more than willing to work with anybody because more we work together as a community, um, the more we can help other families. The more lives they get saved. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I got to tell you, I think it's it's awesome, and thank you so much for coming in. I very much appreciate it. And you don't need to change hands. Oh, now. I will. You're very good at it. Thank you. <laughs> one, one thing, too, to mention, if uh, John Walsh ever got wind of what we had, I think he would uh, be a great proponent and uh, a great uh, assistance in us getting it up to the right people as well. Well, we'll have to see about what we can do. I, I've actually uh, met John a couple of different times, and, and uh, we'll see what we can do about that. So, Thank you for having uh, us. Thank you very much. I'm Kevin McDonald, and with us today are the folks from Find 'em Sent Safe. Thanks for watching.